Hey everybody, White Beard Ann here. Happy holidays. Divorced for the holidays for the first time? Yeah, me too. Let's talk about it. So, you divorced for the first time during the holidays with some kids? That's my situation. I want to talk about it, give you some of my takeaways, some of the things I did to kind of make the transition a smooth right. one. I kind of wanted to do is kind of tell you about what came up for me, what are some of the things that I did to kind of work around it, and hopefully maybe this helps you guys out there. Um, I know there's a ton of you out there that are in the same situation, it's the holidays, you, you're kind of standing on the sidelines, it's really weird. I, I got to tell you, it's a bizarre feeling to kind of watch holidays occur. Um, so like the first thing that, that did come up is you definitely realize you're alone, for sure. It's um, like waking up on Christmas morning alone, not with the kids in the house, that was really weird. You know, but me and the ex, we kind of figured it out. I was over there early in the morning, I opened gifts with the kids, so I was there. Um, you know, I spent Christmas Eve with the kids, I spent Christmas um, dinner with the kids. So I did get to spend a, a good time around that that period but then the day after Christmas they went out of town with their mom and they've been in Florida so I haven't seen them all week um, and going into the New Year's New Year's Eve I won't see the kids so it was just very interesting not having the kids so that's one piece of it the other piece of it is uh, obviously you get together in the holidays with family and friends and you don't you know I didn't realize you know I mean you do realize but you don't realize how much you miss not having those in-laws around, right? My wife had a big family. She had three older brothers. So, you know, there was definitely, you know, missing those guys, like, you know, and their, and their wives and, and their kids, and, and their kids are having kids, you know? So that's the other piece. Like, you know, I did spend 22 years with my ex. So when you're all of a sudden, you know, not there and not part of that, and you're seeing it on social media, it's definitely that bystander effect. You definitely have that piece of like, where you stand and like, wow, look at all this stuff. And your kids are in the picture, so it's even weirder. So there's that piece. Uh, so what I kind of did was I, I did spend some time with friends, you know, I spent some time with, with my mom and dad and, you know, you know, got to hang out there. So, you know, I was able to like, you know, I guess balance it, so to speak. Uh, one of the big things though I did was I, I was really, um, I really just try to keep myself busy. Just kind of doing a lot of different things, um, going out, you know, just kind of even just being out, like not sitting around, kind of like stewing in it or thinking about it, just kind of going about my business. So that was the one thing. Um, so what are the things that we kind of did to, oh, you guys might hear a penny in the background. That's my, uh, daughter's bird that I've kind of inherited. Um, so what did we do around the holidays? Because that was definitely weird going into the holidays with, you know, me and my ex and, and the two houses. So one of the things I really wanted to do to smooth the, the holidays now was start new tra traditions. Um, and I'll put in like, you know, some footage of, you know, when we went and chopped down the Christmas tree. Cause... So who wants to get up and chop down a Christmas tree this morning? It's falling, please! It's falling! Hi! Oh, what? I got it, boys! Woo! Woo! I just see Christmas tree, because, you know, for years, you know, my kids grew up with a fake Christmas tree, so they've never had a real Christmas tree. So I figured, oh, let's go chop one down. I got it right here in the back. It's great. It's, you know, it's amazing. It doesn't know the needles are falling off. But, um,. So that was really nice to have that kind of tradition going, something new. Um, you know, the other thing is, is keeping some of the traditions the same. There, you know, the elf on the shelf made it over here. Oh my God. Charlie's first, okay guys. Charlie's first day. Like the the new house. So there were some things that we kept the same, some things that were new. You know, so like that was nice, or that was one of the things that. Um, really kind of made Christmas special for me and my kids. The other thing is, is, and you know, you know, it depends on your relationship with your ex. But me and my ex were pretty good about coordinating about like what gifts the kids are getting. You know, we wanted to make sure, you know, you, you, know, 
you guys know this whole story um, with kids and gifts and Christmas morning. So we wanted to make sure that you know that's all squared away. So you definitely got to have communication. You definitely got to speak to your ex and be like, hey, what's going on? What's happening? What are they looking for? And you know, and, and vice versa. Like you know, the kids might be telling me, hey, you know, I wish Santa would bring me this. Well. You know, mom should know about that stuff. But one of the other the the opportunities that I really kind of like thought about would be um, great during this time, especially because I don't have I know I definitely can have the kids for the week is spend a really good time working on myself. Right, New Year. You know, that's what I love about the New Year. It's always New Year, new beginnings. You know, everybody's making resolutions, but it is kind of a bit of a reset, especially if you're here in like the Northeast. It gets cold, so like everybody kind of goes into like you know monk mode or whatever you guys want to call. It for the next like month or so and you know but this is a really good time to kind of reflect and, and spend some time thinking about like you know what goals you have for for the year um, whether it's physically or spiritually or you know mentally emotionally whatever it is so this is really kind of good time to reflect about it kind of come up with a plan for that set some goals set some you know some some measurable you know Definitely goalposts that you can you can go for and put dates to them like you know I want to be here by this date and here by that date so it's kind of just not willy nilly you're making real good commitment to yourself the other thing is is right you're always trying to become the best version of yourself for your kids so for anybody right you're just trying to become the best version of yourself whether you know whoever that's for um, so this is a really good opportunity especially you know if you're like kind of down and, and and feeling like oh like a little depressed like because it can bring it on for sure um luckily i haven't felt that way so i'm like really blessed but for sure use this as an opportunity to kind of figure out what you want to do for the next couple of months one of the big things too this week is that i've really learned to to enjoy being alone um like today i got up early i was able to like work a little bit i was able to make a cup of coffee um maybe i'll go see aquaman by myself later today like so there's some real benefits to like having that lifestyle where you kind of own it but own it like you know just don't like sit around and, and you know not seize the opportunity to really kind of do something with yourself and so those are basically my takeaways for the holiday season i know i probably rambled a little bit but i definitely wanted to get in the habit of getting more videos out because this is one of the things that I wanted to be committed to in the new year is getting more videos out, more content out. Hell, I don't know what I'm doing, right? I'm just making this shit up as I go along. But one of the things that I definitely realize is the more I do it, the easier it's going to become, the more of um, like a, a regularity. Like for me, like even like going to the gym, like I don't think about having to make plans to go to the gym. I just go to the gym so regularly that it's so part of my routine. And that's kind of what I'm hoping this becomes. Um, I'm a big believer in just being out there and put myself out there and, and um, you know, listen, I'm going to take you guys all for the ride. Hope you enjoy. Listen, people, subscribe, like, listen, be one of the first 100 people to subscribe to this channel. It is, you know, you want to be a promoter, you want to be like a mover and a shaker, you can be one of the first to have been a part of the White Beard and YouTube channel. So, subscribe, like. Have a good, uh, happy new year, everybody, and um, peace out.